Hey beauties, it's Danny, Sigma Beauty's global makeup artist. I have some super exciting news for you today. We are launching mini palettes. So these are our seven shade eyeshadow palettes. We are launching four of them based on our best selling eyeshadow palettes. So our eyeshadow palettes currently consist of 14 shades. These little palettes have seven shades in them. Perfect little palettes if you are just trying out the brand or maybe you think you're not going to use all the 14 shades in our bigger palettes. You can get a little guy. They're so cute and like perfect for travel. So I'm gonna show you how I got this look today. Let's get into the tutorial. So many choices. Hmm. I think I'm leaning towards the ambiance. I think I wanna create of a golden bronzy eye. I feel like I've been doing a lot of pink and mauve lately, so this will be a nice change. So I already did my complexion, I did my foundation, um, did some color correcting with my Spectrum Color Corrector Duo, and put a little bit of illuminating powder to set the concealer. That is all I have on my face right now. I'll do some bronzer and blush after I create the eye look. Um, but first I'm going to prime my eyes using our Radiance Eyeshadow Base Primer. This is like a light gold color. It's so pretty even to wear on its own. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. For brushes, I'm going to use this really cute set that we had made for Pride Month. Um, this is the Color Me Proud brush set and it comes in this cute little bag. Perfect for travel and three eye brushes. It pairs great with our seven shade palettes. Perfect for traveling and on the go. So I'm gonna take the shade Candlelight, which is right here, and apply this all over my lid on the E55 shading brush. So perfect colors for Summer. So once I have that applied, I'm just going to take my E25 blending brush and I just buff out those edges. I'm going to go back and add a little more to the lid, but first I want to add just a little bit more definition into the crease. And I'm going to take my E25 blending again with the shade Daylily, which is right next to candlelight here. And we'll just pop that in the crease. And then I'm going to take Oasis, which is a little bit of a deeper shade from Daylily. Still a nice warm brown. And I'm going to use that on the same brush again. And just get a little bit more definition right in that outer corner. Okay, now that I have those crease shades applied, I'm going to go back in with the shade Candlelight and build that up on my lid a little bit more. Then on my E30 pencil, I'm going to dip into the shade Sunspot, which is the deepest color of the palette. And I'm going to smudge this on my upper lash line. And I'm actually bringing this into my outer eye a little bit and into that crease just for a little bit more definition and just actually pulling the color out a little bit just for a soft winged effect okay let's go back in with the radiance eyeshadow base primer and I'm going to pop a little bit of this in the inner corner. Then I'm going to go into the shade Daylily again, which is the lighter matte brown shade. And lightly apply this on my under eye. And then dip into the shade Sunflower, which is a beautiful gold color in the palette. Just on the same E30 brush. I'm gonna put that in the center of my lower lash line. And put on some Sinuosity Lash. I think I wanna do some false lashes too. Okay, 
I've been really into lining my upper waterline lately. So I'm gonna do that with our Wicked pencil. In there. So I have the Lash Style Hopeless Romantic. As you can see, I already used one because I actually cut this in half and used it as a half lash. If you get one of our lash styles that have the more rounded style, meaning it's longer in the middle, it's shorter on the sides, you can get away with using one lash for both eyes, which is really cool. All right, the eyes are done. Let's complete the face. I'm going to use my medium shade matte bronzer here so I can kind of fake a nice tan because I'm not tan and I feel like my eyes are so nice and bronzy that I want my face to look bronzy as well. So I'm going to use my F78 Ultimate Bronze Brush. I love this brush if you kind of want like an all over bronze look. It's perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer on my cheeks using my Samantha Ravindal brush just to really concentrate that into the contour of my face as well. This brush is called Tapered Contour. For blush, I'm gonna do a little bit of a custom mix with shades Nearly Wild and Sunset Kiss. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the shade Sunstone on my FO3 brush. For lips, I think I'm gonna use the shade Epiphany. I just want like a touch of color. So I'm gonna like really blend it in with my finger a little bit of gloss this is the shade dazzling i'm gonna really kind of press it in with my finger all right and that is my final look i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial you can find these little cuties available on our website now so definitely go check them out See you next time. Bye.